How's it going guys? Brian back again. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at another one of uh, Blackpool's finest music producers, uh, AI Slop. And that of course is uh, another AI reconstruction from Ian Levine. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at something that already has a remake done by some wonderful people at UCLan, uh, a university out there. Uh, they already did a a remake of uh, Mission to the Unknown, which is like a whole prequel type episode uh, for uh, uh, the Daleks master plan. Uh, the University of Central Lancashire already did a whole full live action remake uh, of uh, Mission to the Unknown. They did this because uh, this entire episode is an entirely uh, no doctor, no companions uh, episode. Uh, it's completely all new characters, um, so they wouldn't have to recast the Doctor or anything to be put into this. They just had to use their own uh, characters and everything. Uh, not their own characters, uh, it's just like, it's setting up characters that will eventually come into play in the Daleks Master Plan, which is which would be a few episodes after this. But for some reason, Ian decided, hey, we're going to do this. Which is stupid, because why the hell would you even do this? We have a perfectly serviceable uh, live-action remake. And we also have his version from 2011, an animated version. But he's going to tell you uh, that AI reconstructions trump uh, kitty cartoons. But uh, let's go ahead and start watching this. Here we are. Oops. Sorry about that. There we go. Ooh, right off the bat. Looks n Ooh, why a drone... Sh More drone shots. Why are you doing this, Ian? We don't need drone shots in this. Fingers are clipping into each other. They're morphing into each other again. Great. Off to a great start so far, Ian. Just great. Bravo. You got their fingers morphing into each other again, and you got these drone shots that wouldn't exist in the 60s. It's not even the right suits. I think these are just taken from the 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 recon for uh, uh, from the loose cannon recon. Parts of this look like it's from. Hmm. I wonder if he used anything from that U Clan uh, remake at all. This is probably taken from from surviving footage, if there's even anything. Oh, that's laughable! Look at the the stilted animations, man. Indistinguishable from the real thing, guys. Also, more drone shots. Why that wouldn't exist in the '60s. It's like they're going through, they're like an animatronic going through set anima animations. Kind of looks like Edward D'Souza, but I don't know. It's still stilted, man. You got they got weird patterns of blinking their eyes. You can't even tell what he's doing with that. His his hand morphed into that wrench. The suits aren't even correct. These are I think these are like either taken from like the tenth planet or, or galaxy four or something. Or or some other or or like maybe Centauran suits from like the third Doctor's era and they just well, both pasted them in because they didn't know what the suits looked like for this. Jeez, man. Like, it's kind of an improvement over everything else, but, like, it, it, it still looks a little bit more smoothed. It still looks smoothed out because that doesn't look like Edward D'Souza's face. It, it's, like, way too smooth. There's not enough imperfections on anything. At animation... It's too robotic, like they're using a CGI figure, like somebody like doing basic CGI to to do that. 
The gun doesn't even look like it's in his hand at all. God. Ser seriously, stop with the sweeping drone shots that wouldn't be in the episode. It's not even close to accurate at all to the 60s. They would not be able to do that kind of stuff. Besides, these sets are so small, they wouldn't be able to make this stuff kind of animation. Or they wouldn't be able to do those kinds of shots. They were able to, like, maybe they can do some panning shots, but they wouldn't be do sweeping overhead drone shots like that. There, there was no technology for that at the time. There's no sound for that either. No, no indication that was actually firing. He just kind of toppled over. Come on. I feel like either like either somebody. Re Mission in the Unknown aired on October 9, 1965. So they definitely wouldn't be able to have those drone shots. Everything is so, it, it's like the Highlanders. Everything is so out of proportion with each other. Like his head, some, some of their heads are too big. Just the way they look though is just bad. Holy crap, man. Both of them are smoothed out. Their eyes are going into different directions sometimes. It wants to get the suits are still wrong. That's not how the suits looked at all. I think they just it's kind of confirms that they just kind of ran the the loose cannon recons through a filter and had had AI animate it uh, with with some human guidance. But but it's it's done so rushed and so cheaply that it doesn't even look proper. That's probably that's probably from surviving footage right there. There's no way that uh. That's probably from from a surviving Daleks Master Plan episode or something. I wouldn't it wouldn't surprise me if that's from that. But that but this stuff is still AI crap. Jesus, man. Like look at his face. Like there his ears too smoothed out, the forehead's too smoothed out. I mean, you could you could barely see like a single a singular ripple uh wrinkle on it. Look at his nose. There's no imperfections at all. You would you would still see that stuff in this. This is not indistinguishable from the original. The one that's indistinguishable from the original is the U-Clan remake. The University of Central Lancashire. They're the ones who followed the shooting script, followed the proper camera angles, shot it all in black and white, and and actually actually got it accurate you could probably even sync up the original audio with the u clan remake and it would be fine it's perfectly serviceable actually it's more than serviceable it's perfect i wouldn't be surprised once they do animate the entirety of the daleks master plan and mission to the unknown they include the u clan remake on there as a special feature and they pay the pay the students who did this even more that's that that shows dedication. Uh yeah, heck, the U Clan remake even had Nicholas Briggs and a bunch of BBC higher ups involved with this. Uh a bunch of people even gave their their go ahead, including the nation uh the, the estate of Terry Nation. Terry Nation wouldn't give any permission to the to an AI uh version of the, of his works. There's absolutely no way. Ian keeps saying he doesn't want the BBC to to the, to, uh, to take his works, but he's gone on record numerous times saying that uh, he wants a, a, a DVD of all his stuff, including uh, the AI recreations, his version of Shada, his version of, uh, of of non-existent episodes like Gallifrey and Yellow Fever and Trapped in the Dark Dimension. Uh, first of all, no one's going to do that. No one's gonna release uh, release a whole box set of Ian Levine stuff. It, it's so wrapped up in a legal nightmare with all the stuff that he used. In, in Trapped in the Dark Dimension, he even uses a uh, Halo Reach armor and in the Fallout uh, Fallout Three Fallout New Vegas Pip Boy in there. 
There's no way the BBC is going to be able to get a, get a permission to, to use that kind of stuff. That, it's not the way BBC works. They're going to, the only way that they do this is if they commission the, the animators themselves to do work and actually get proper permission. I guarantee uh, uh, there's so many ethical concerns as well with uh with uh with the way uh that ian does his uh ai animations and gets um for, he he uh his uh pound from uh, from the uk goes a lot further stretches a lot further when you outsource the work to uh cheap animators in bangladesh and in moscow it's just a fact. It's a sad fact. People be, should be paid a little bit more down there in Bangladesh and and, and in the in Russia. But technically, Yin it isn't even it's supposed to be doing stuff in Russia. There's sanctions against Russia, and and pretty much what he's doing is illegal. It's already been illegal because he's using copyrighted BBC material, audio, images, and everything. But he doesn't care. He, he, he saved a bunch of episode, Doctor Who episodes in the 80s. So, so that gives him, gives him uh, the right to, uh, to do what he wants with these AI, uh, AI slops. It, it, it boggles my mind. The man is 71 and he's still this delusional to this day. Oof, can't even read what that says. You're supposed to be able to read what that says and you don't even know. It's a bunch of squiggles because the AI doesn't know what the hell it is. You could you could see they barely have like natural eye movements or anything. They just sit there blanking. Look at that. That's just a JPEG. That's oh my god. That's just a JPEG. That's just a JPEG photoshopped into his hand that's like the that's like the folder icon on on windows or like a like a stock image jesus christ man this is how fucking sloppy this stuff is oh my god this is this is this is the stuff ian wants it says is indistinguishable from the real thing good job ian good fucking job You've, you've saved Doctor Who. Jesus Christ, man. That's, that's laughable. That's amateur. He says he's, these are professional grade. These are not professional. These are freaking amateur. God damn, man. And this is one of my... This, this is one of my favorite, like, no Doctor episodes at all. Uh, or, or like, uh, I guess this is, this is kind of, nah, this is the precursor to Dr. Light episodes and everything, but like Mission to the Unknown is great because it sets up a store, a long running 12 episode story arc. And it's, it's fun to see stuff without the doctor and everything. It's got the Daleks and everything, but you, you see the perspective through other characters other than the doctor, other than the main, main person of this and it's great. I love it. I love Mission to the Unknown. It's one of my favorite classic era episodes. But this is this is ruining it. We're seven minutes into this episode, and it's it, it's so laughably amateur. And and, and and I don't see how this is like the best version he could do. Even the the the, the 2011 animation, which has similar art styles to everything, to um to a lot of stuff uh to, to things is great i believe he he contacted david bush in order to do help out with a mission to the unknown animation and was it david bush i'm pretty sure it was david bush that he did that for i'm gonna uh, look that up because i think i have david bush's website over here David Bush did a lot of stuff. He did, he did some animations for Dad's Army. He's done the Macra Terra. He's done the official animation for Shada. Uh, I'm trying to... Yeah, 
Yep, Ian Levine and David Bush did uh did the Mission to the Unknown animation. And it was pretty great. It was pretty good. It's similar in style to a lot of the other animations at the time during that. And I, I love David Bush's work on that. There's a, That's probably the reason why he got hired on to do stuff like the Macro Terror and and uh, animate like Dad's Army and then uh, did Macro Terror, did Shada. Worked, went on to work for some Marvel animation, Marvel Knights animation, Black Panther. And I'm sure he, 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 I think he, I forgot if he's done, has he done recent work? I don't, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure on that, but, uh, he's done a lot of commotion, commercial work, motion graphics and everything. And he's even a member on uh, Gallifrey Brace. It's great talking to David Bush on there. Uh, but yeah. 2011's Mission to the Unknown animation is, is is a fantastic is fantastic to watch because it's really really is true to uh, to a lot of the stuff uh, that was the recons at the time, but it was nice and animated and it didn't look like sloppy animation that AI does. Of course, it used the wrong spacesuits and everything, but that was that was uh, that was all they had at the time. They based stuff off the the loose cannon reconstructions, and that was all we had at the time. But once U Clan came out, the University of Central Lancashire came and uh, did their uh, live action remake of Mission to the Unknown, and it turned out perfectly. They they had shooting script. They had the camera shooting scripts. I think they are able to ask Edward D'Souza, the actual main character in this entire Mission to the Unknown, about uh, w what it was like shooting and everything. And they got his, uh, his approval and his uh, blessing, along with getting the blessing of the Terry Nation estate. That's something you guys should all watch. Watch the, watch the 2011 Mission to Unknown animation and watch the 2019 U-Clan remake because it's great. The thing I don't like about a lot of these AI animations is they're constantly, the camera looks like it's constantly moving, kind of gives you a little bit of motion sickness, like cameras weren't constantly moving like this, they were, they were obviously able to be stationary and be able to zoom in without it like swaying and moving like this. It's, not, it's, it's like they're trying to, the AI animation is acting like it's filming on a, filming on a handheld camera or something. Parts of this, I think, yeah. See that that animation wouldn't be wouldn't be AI. That's that's surviving footage. That's uh, it's from a uh, from probably from Dalek's master plan or something, or if they had or somewhere else, probably. Oh, that's the the Varda. I think that that's what it's called. I don't know if it. Like, they used surviving footage, and then the, the walk was a AI animated. Jeez, man. It looks so bad. Jesus, we're only eight. We're only eight and a half minutes into this, and it looks... God, it looks bad. They're not... E there's no emoting properly at all in this. I don't know why they're not emoting at all should be they should emote and they're not and like when they turn their heads and then they turn it back it's like they're reversing footage and trying to match up the lip syncs and everything and Edward D'Souza's character's face is still too smooth I mean even though he's got those two spots on there it looks too smooth and this guy's character is it, it, his his face is way too smooth again too. The suits are smoothed out as well. Uh, they did look like they don't look like they've been dirtied up or anything. Didn't doesn't look like they've been surviving out in the jungle for a few days at all. Ooh, whoa! You guys see that?
<laughs> oh my god <laughs> i'm gonna take a screenshot of that um wow that's just oh <laughs> Ooh, that is crusty. Holy shit. He's got a Tupperware container. He doesn't even look proper. The suit looks like shit. It's all smoothed out. It doesn't look like the suit in the close-up shots. Oh my god. Oh god. Jesus. That's horrible. Ooh. The only thing I can give this for is that give it a good rating for the only good thing I can say about this is that uh, the eyes aren't morphing into their back of their skull. The Varda. It's 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 a bit of a mess, in my opinion, it doesn't look like uh, I'm going to be honest. You look in the background that Larry, it looks like it's the Varda, but like. I'm not going to be honest. I feel like he should have taken reference from the U-Clan remakes Varda. It would have looked so much better. It was a fi it was physically there on set. So, it looks so much better. This is just a jumbled mess of uh, of of smoothed out hairs together with some vague looking thorns on it. This this doesn't look like the the, the Varda from the the 60s at all. It, it's weird. It, it just looks dumb and then in the background right there you got a what looks like a varda as well but it's just not doing anything it looks like it's just stuck in the background there doll the daleks oof like are those cgi did loose i'm pretty i think the loose cannon might have had cgi daleks on there it's possible. Yeah. This looks too smooth and too good to like be from the from the to be AI generated a little bit. I think the loose cannon remake or the loose cannon reconstruction had CGI Daleks, which made it a little bit easier to animate for the loose cannon crew because it's Daleks. They don't have any facial expressions. All they have to do is move the Dalek casing like the Daleks would. It was probably also easier for them to to model out a set back then and, and, and animate. Because this looks like it looks pretty, pretty good. And I, I'm going to assume this is nothing to do with Ian's work at all. He just stole some footage from Loose Cannon and used it for, for this uh, reconstruction. Or, or whoever he commissioned to... Uh, to uh, to uh, animate this we'll never know because he doesn't put the credits put him in the credits at all he hasn't credited any of his animators at all he says they're from bangladesh and everything in moscow and such but he doesn't credit any of his animators which is which is scummy in itself because he's paying them to do this stuff this is once again just as I said before, this is the only good stuff. It was cool in the in the U Clan up uh, remake. Uh, they had actually had Nicholas Briggs doing the the voice of the Daleks. So this is David Graham and Peter Hawkins in the original audio. Of course, of course, this is from the original audio. Oh my God, the Varda looks. Oh, God. The Varga looks so bad, man. Holy crap. It's just, it's just a blob being drug along. God dang. Can't even tell. Oh, it's too, it is too. I can't even tell if the Varga in the background right there is, is, is a mistake or not. Because you got the one in the foreground. Oof. 
what was that what was this what was that with that shortcut did they just not have a long enough like shot of that in order to use because that looked really it's really jarring for a lot of most of the time on this like he says one thing and then it quickly cuts back i'm like that's not how the show was even at all they didn't do quick cuts like that I don't know, like, yeah, he's not, exp it's, okay, it is two separate Varga plans, it, it, it's so tough to, like, determine that, because in the background, it just looks like it's part of the background, and it's, it has no, plays no part into it at all, it, it it's such a, it, such a weird thing, because I feel I think there was only one Varga plant at all in in the U Clan remake. I may be mistaken on that. Somebody will probably correct me in the comments, but I swear there was only one Varga plant in the U Clan remake, and I think that was how it was in the original Mission to the Unknown. There was only a singular Varga plant, and once again, Edward D'Souza's character, uh, who I keep forgetting the name of, even though I've watched this uh, episode a lot. Edward D'Souza was Mark Corey. There's Barry Jackson, who plays Jeff Garvey. Jeremy Young plays Gordon Lowry. Robert Hartland plays Malfa. And, of course, David Graham, Peter Hawkins are the Dalek voices. And, yeah, those are the cast in this. Daleks and, uh, and such. Uh, but, yeah, there's two Varga plants this time uh, dragging themselves along the ground. And it looks a little bit awkward. Uh, the way the, these pan... I've, I've said this before, and I'm just going to repeat it again. This is a jumble of mess. I don't think the Vargas at all look like this. There have been... I'm pretty sure there's been pictures from the 60s that they've used, and they look nothing like that. The way they're animated looks awkward. The way he's using that tool, you don't know what the tool is. It could be a screwdriver, it could be something else. Those doll oh my god, the animation on these dogs. He's it's just reversing footage back and forth to make it look like they're talking. Okay, those are CGI dogs, so it's obviously not from Ian at all. We know that. Anything CGI is not from him. This is I could tell that's AI generated. You could tell by the way the texture of things are. It looks too smoothed out, too clean. He doesn't have proper none of them have proper emotions. That's probably it looks Yeah, that's it. That's AI generated. There's no way that's it doesn't look like that at all. He's just flexing the tape player. They just keep going with this. They don't have proper animations. He's probably he's supposed to look like he's scared, but he, he barely looks like he's ha has an emotion at all. Both of them are supposed to look like they're scared because of the Varga plants and the Daleks. But they barely look like they have any emotions at all. It's supposed to be a Dalek saucer or something. Yeah, it's probably a Dalek saucer. God, man. Artificially zoomed in, so it looks like crap, even crappier. That looks extremely slow. It, the frame rate just tanks for some reason. Nine more minutes of this. I can't believe it. Jeez. 
Ugh. The anime, the walk animations are still crappy. Why does he not have have them improve them at all? He didn't improve them in Highlanders. He didn't improve them in Marco Polo. He keeps stealing footage from other people's Dalek projects, it looks like. I think the Dalek stuff is from the U Clan remake. He says he didn't use stuff from that, but it looks too smooth and too clean to, to be have been from. It looks too uh too too good. It looks too good to be AI. And it looks like it's using real life footage. Either that or it's from other surviving footage that people have found of some parts of it. But that's probably a, it's pro maybe it's from like Galaxy Four or something or or not Galaxy Four, or maybe it's from some other Dalek story that was superimposed or something and they were able to match it up uh, pretty good. I don't know, but like it looks too good to be AI generated. He doesn't look oh. His eyes are morphing back into his face. He doesn't look like the proper character. Yeah, there there we go. That's just that's just a JPEG of a Dalek sliding into frame. JPEG of a Dalek sliding into frame. Oh my god, sliding in and out of frame. Holy crap. <laughs> The lights on their on their domes don't match up with their speaking. They were able to do. It's I think uh, Peter Hawkins was uh, Peter Hawkins and David Graham were able to match up the were able to control the lights that were on top of their domes, or or it was either the Dalek operators were able to match up the lights on their domes to their to their speaking, but here they're not matching up at all. This is this is like. A dub over, clearly. Sorry about that. I'm just having a little... There we go. Yeah. See, the, the lights aren't really properly... And that's just a filter over a, of a picture. His eyes are all messed up again. Jeez, man. It's like they didn't go over this at all. They just sent a, oh his face morphed into him when he walks, and they're using these weird walk cycles. Ugh. That looks like it's just from surviving footage. Oof. That's all smoothed out. Look at that. <laughs> Oh man. What is this? What is this like back shot or or, or like dolly shot that they, they, they would totally be able to do in the sixties? So their their lights aren't properly, they're using footage again. And oh once again. Just a bunch of Daleks sliding in frame. Masters of the Fifth Galaxy. Look at look at their they're just going through an animation cycle and they're they're flapping his lips he's not even that he's not even attempting to match the match it at all god he was better ian was definitely better off just asking you clan if he could use some of the the stuff from their their uh their version for his ai reconstruction because this is just the only thing that looks good is the Daleks. Now I, I'm betting the Daleks are from some other other episode that they superimpose on this. The 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 Masters of the Fifth Galaxy are are, are clearly AI'd in. 
Of course, this is an AI version, but Jesus. They're trying to, he's trying to match the, 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 the lip flaps, but the lips aren't properly going. Sometimes you can see them keep moving after he speaks. Yeah, this this must be like some kind of surviving footage or, 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 or just the way, oh, those walk cycles are just bad, man. I don't get why you got them with, got them looking like that. The, the suits never look like they didn't have the helmet pieces at all. I mean, that looks good probably because it's served. There might might have been some minor surviving footage because of uh, some of the stuff being Dalek's master plan or whatever. They probably used stuff from Dalek's master plan a little bit for this. That wouldn't surprise me. I'm I'm sure Ian Ian had them use some surviving stuff from the surviving Dalek's master plan episodes because this is that's how it looked in there. seven but there's only uh i believe there was only six of them in later episodes yeah Okay, maybe the Dalek stuff is from... Yeah, look how not smoothed out and not AI generated. I mean, like, they're reversing shots and everything, but it doesn't look AI generated. That, that looks just like a JPEG superimposed onto his arm. That doesn't look good at all. It's just... It's, that's literally floating off his arm. I keep nitpicking so much, but there's so much bad about this. And then he's gonna he's gonna fall in the fort. He's gonna he's gonna like get knocked unconscious or something. Cause he he's been he's been hit by the Varga plants, uh, venom or whatever. Yeah, Edward D'Souza's character just doesn't just doesn't have any emotion. He 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 either looks extremely smug or he looks like he doesn't care at all. Like, I don't get why you can't have them properly emote at all in, in these. It, it doesn't make any sense. There needs to be some form of emotion or whatever. But without, without that, then... Ugh. Yeah, that's... Just... Was that just a CGI model? Am I... Is this amateur hour? Are we... Yeah. Oh, my God. His face is morphing. It's melting. His hands look like they're look like they're about to morph right into that tape recorder. Yeah. That just that was a weird cut. That was a weird cut. It 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 cut into the Yeah, that was such a weird cut. I don't think Ugh. Yeah, they just cut footage. I mean, like they they, they, were, they were standing still one moment, and then all of a sudden they're rolling. It, it looks so jarring to for them to do that. His head is kind of out of proportion with the suit as well. Might have been because he's, and then suddenly he's back at the ship. That's from another episode. That looks way too clean and smooth. That's a CGI model. He's nowhere near the ship now. Yeah, they're just reversing footage and they're reusing stuff. They, they they superimpose that on there so it doesn't look like looks so badly. They're probably hiding like a distorted uh uh Dalek stock or whatever or the plunger. And they keep adding these drone shots. The drone shots are so bad, man. Jesus. 
And there's the tape and everything. It doesn't look good at all. And there's that same... There's that same shot of the, the Masters of the Fifth Galaxy. He's just flapping his lips. And they're, they're like playing it in a loop. You could tell by, you could look at the guys on the left. You could look at their animations. Yeah, this is, this is taken from Dalek's master plan or something. And they just add some character to it. That was Mission to the Unknown, the, the very, very terrible AI version that Ian decided to release uh, to us. We, we doubled the episode in length of it, and we're up at 40, nearly 41 minutes now uh, of this episode. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this. This is, this, is one of, this is also extremely terrible. It's up there with the Highlanders as one of those really, really bad episodes. Uh, there's so much stuff in here. There's stolen... Stolen footage of the Daleks, uh, of possibly CGI Daleks from Loose Cannon, uh, JPEG Daleks sliding across the screen, uh, reversing and, and lip flapping, and oh my god, this is bad. Uh, remember, guys, uh, I'll leave um, links down in the description, uh, links to the University of Lancashire remake of. Mission to the Unknown. Go ahead, watch that. That's fantastic. Uh, it, it was really a labor of love from those students and got full approval from people at the BBC and uh, Doctor Who higher ups. So they they're completely cool with that. Go even go watch Ian Levine's 2011 commission of the animation of uh, Mission to the Unknown as well. Uh, David Bush uh, helped with that. He's known for doing the Macra Terra. Uh, doing some of the animations for some of the missing episodes of uh, Dad's Army, and also did um, the 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 lost uh, fourth Doctor story, Shada, as well. Uh, go ahead, and check that out. Uh, people people uh, seem to love uh, those stories, and he probably got hired because of Mission to the Unknown, or maybe it's just because of his own merit that he got hired as well, which is why Ian probably hired him for Mission to the Unknown. But uh, I'll also leave a link down in the description if you want to go watch uh, the, the AI version of Mission to the Unknown. Ian uh, seems to not care that people are leaking his episodes anymore. And, I, and I'll just uh, I'll follow along with that wish and post a link down in the description so you yourself can watch this episode in its entirety without my commentary. Then you could decide for yourself if you liked it or not. Uh, more than likely, Ian uh, Ian's uh, army is going to come down into the comments section and uh, try to uh, prove me wrong, but they 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 won't succeed. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, guys. Remember, comment, like the video, subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great night or wherever whatever you're watching. Have a good one.